Hey friends, good evening. It's uh, 520 in the afternoon or evening here. Don't know what time it is where you are and when you're listening to this, but hello and how are you doing all the same? I'm on a mission. I'm heading out to uh, get some wind therapy. That's always a, a goal, but I'm going to go to a bike meetup. Uh, it's past, it's past downtown Austin kind of almost halfway between Austin and the city of Buda, so it's about an hour and a half from my house. Um, if I took the freeway there, it's rush hour right now, I'd be pretty stuck uh, in traffic, but so I'm taking the fun way, which I would take anyways, um, and that's why it's taking an hour and a half. Um, if there's no traffic on the highway, it's about one hour. Uh, but uh, 30 extra minutes of riding on fun twisty roads is always, always welcome in my book. Um, so this meetup, I'm not really sure. Uh, it's a Facebook group that is organizing it. It's, um, I think it's Austin Riders. I belong to that group. There's quite a few groups we have here in Austin uh, for motorcycles. But there's a few that are more active than others. And uh, so I'm going to go check this out. I saw that there's 10 people confirmed going. Um, and typically that's it's, it's never accurate you get there and there's 50 people or you get there and there's five people so we'll see <laughs> um, but on the way there I'm as I said I'm taking the, the fun route there so I'm gonna go on a couple of my favorite roads for the next 20 minutes or so it's gonna be a pretty boring ride just kind of suburban city riding so I will check out here at this point and check back in with you when I get to one of the fun roads it's actually about uh, three to four degrees cooler down here than uh, where we were before. And I can feel it right away in my jacket. Getting close to the top of the mountain. I like going through here fast usually if there's not a car in front of me. This is a cool little squirrely road. See, we've got some steep elevation right here. I don't know if you can see it though. This will bring us right up to the top of the mountain. Or a small mountain or a big hill, either way. <laughs> Here you can pull off and uh, there's a staircase over here you can go climb and hike the mountain. Where's the stairs? They're over here somewhere. Yeah, here they are right here. You can go up there and hike and get really nice views of the river. But onward, we still got quite a ways to go. So now we're here. All right, so let me kill the camera, get all the gear off. Let's take a look around. All right, friends, we're here with uh, my new friend, Toby. What's going on, man? Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Toby's one of the organizers of, of this event. And this was um, Austin Riders? Austin Riders On South. Facebook? Yeah, we're, we actually call ourselves Austin Riders South. Okay. Because we cater mostly to people in the southern re region of Austin. Did you set up a separate Facebook for it's that? It's not or? a separate Facebook page. We piggyback on okay. Austin Riders and Ride 512. And oh, we post okay. our events there. Um, right. We are not an official MC. Um, we're just a very casual group. And what we do is we post socials and casual group rides. 
on those social media sites. What we like to call ourselves Austin Rider South as a reference. Yeah, the Austin, greater Austin area is quite large. I mean, it goes all the way up to where I live, and it's like a, you know, from north to south, it could be like a two-hour drive to cover all that area. So exactly. it's nice to have something up north, south, central, all yeah. that. So Although very cool. we do get people from up north that come down. Yep. So it doesn't matter where you're from, but if you want to come down, it's no problem. But we basically, our, our home base, so to speak, is in the southern area. So okay. we noticed there wasn't much of a bike culture down here, so that's why we got this whole thing spun up. Okay, and then what do you what do you ride? You were, you were talking um, before. A I ride a twenty four Triumph Street Triple. Okay, um, very cool. It's my first Triumph. I used to ride Ninjas. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm from New York City, and that's what I used to ride. But uh, roads aren't so friendly for for bikes. It's it's challenging. Um, yeah. So when I hear people complaining about Austin, oh, it's hard to ride. It's dangerous. It's like eh, do six months in New York City and yeah, then yeah, get yeah. back to me. Um, so down here, it's a it's a breath of fresh air. Yeah, very nice roads out here. Yeah. I mean, there's, I mean, outside of New York City, of course, there's a lot of nice riding Absolutely. up in Connecticut and northern New Jersey and all Long that. Island, exactly. upstate New York, but sure. you have to leave the city. Yep. But unfortunately, I lived right in Queens. Oh, okay. And so getting out of the city, that was a challenge, and riding in Queens was very, very difficult at times. Yep. Just, but I moved down here two years ago, and I have no regrets, and uh, I'm glad I helped get this thing started. Yeah, so how, how long is this, um, the uh, south version of this? Been going on uh we're coming up it's about one year oh okay uh it started slow because it takes a while for these things to you know percolate develop. yes yeah. to percolate to get people interested to, to get it established to know that it exists and uh but as you can see people are pulling in right now um now at our meets every two weeks uh we pull in about 40 plus bikes um and we see that number growing because more and people more and more people are showing up more and more people are telling by word of mouth. Yep. Because not everybody is on those social media sites. So a lot of times we rely on word of mouth and that helps. So if you put the word out to other people that ride to come down and our motto is all bikes welcome. Yeah. So whatever it is, come down and ride it. And just yeah. I'm just looking down. looking now and you can see there's a there's a Triumph, Triumph Bobber right there pulling in and a, and a Harley. There's a Harley here in front of us. A lot of sport bikes. Looks pretty balanced very diverse a very diverse group of riders here yeah now on your bike uh, have you done anything to your bike or is it is it stock no, or have you... as, most of it's cosmetic mm -hmm. um, before I put anything like pipes on it or anything I have to wait for the warranty to expire because after a certain time the sure. factory warranty they won't fix the bike if oh, here comes a three-wheeler um, <laughs> they won't fix it yeah if it's not under warranty if you put something like new pipes on it on yeah. uh within the warranty yeah, yeah so i'm gonna yeah. wait till that expires then put the new pipes on because of course everybody wants to do pipes it's one of the first things you do yeah but mostly what i've done to it is just cosmetic um and that's pretty much it but yeah in the future i intend to do something to it why not if you yeah. have a bike that's what you got to do well it's if you're gonna keep it it's a it's a cool thing to do and that's what i did with my bike i kept it on warranty for three years i had a three-year warranty and once that was over i got rid of the pipes put new headers, straight headers on it, got rid of the cat, put uh, a slip on, got a tune, and it's like having a whole new bike. So it was like, yes. yeah, it's fun. It's like, oh, it's a cool yeah. bike now. It's it? a lot more character and different dynamics yeah. to your bike when you put pipes on it, yeah. Very cool. Absolutely. All right, well, it was really nice to meet you. And I, I just got here, so I'll be here for a little while and we'll probably chat some more. Absolutely. But uh, thanks for taking the time to chat with me and being on the channel here. Absolutely, looking forward to it. friends we're here with another new friend this is uh, Chuck otherwise known as Venom what's up man how's it going bro hey pretty good so tell us about this cool looking bike with this amazing wrap on it tell us all about it this is a 2020 Can-Am 900 Riker and I've done the wrap myself 
I installed the music. Mm -hmm. And of course, like I said, the wrap, the windshield. Mm -hmm. It was pretty much a bare bike when I got it. And whenever I get a chance, I try to find something I want to add to it. Uh, <laughs> I've got highway packs coming. I'm going to change my lights to chase lights. Okay. Of course, I added some extra decals. You see all the Spider Man and uh, Venom related ones. Mm -hmm. The air intakes. I got the spider webs. A guy uh, on Etsy 3D printed them for oh, me. Oh, okay, cool. And the seat looks nice too. Yeah, I got a yeah. custom seat cover. Okay. Uh, from J Powell. Nice. Um, I added the windshield and put a big Venom sticker on it on the front. Of Venom, Venom Spider. I've also got an LCD light. I'll turn it on when you get ready to video the bike. Okay, um, cool. I added floorboards and, like you said, all the decals. And it's an ongoing project. Very cool. Well, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Too. Thanks for taking the time to talk with me and introducing your bike. That's very cool. No All right, we're here with another new friend, Marco. Marco, what's up? How's it going? Good, good to, good to see you. Likewise. And I saw you pull up on this really cool vintage bike. What do you got here? This is a '72 Honda CL350. And then you were, we were talking before. You've got two other bikes. What do you got? We have a 2000 BMW GS 1150, and my latest purchase was a Suzuki. 1982 GS 1100. Okay, cool. And is that the one you were working on? That's the one I'm working on now. It's a carbureted engine, so I really like carbureted. And it kind of looks like um, kind of cafe racer looking kind of thing, right? Matter of fact, it looks like a twin Z to this one. Just the uh, the other one got all the good genes. This one didn't. <laughs> so. Very cool. So what what do you like about this bike and hate about it? Well, I really like that it's easy to get around town. Huh. I don't lane split or nothing, but it's just easy to ride. It's fun to ride. Um, it's unique. You, you got to pay attention to the bike. It's got drum brakes. Um, you really have to know what you're doing to ride something like this. It's not very modern, so you got to pay attention. You got no, tra no traction control, no ABS, no <laughs> none of that stuff. No airbags. Yeah, that kind of stuff. So Fred Flintstone. Yep, yeah, just to, I've done that before. But, um, yeah, there's just something about old bikes and antiques that kind of they're like, fun. So. And I think just like I was telling you before, I had an old, like a, what was that, a Yamaha XS400, I believe it was? Yeah. And I was younger at the time, so I had a better temperament, but it was like a little exciting going out, not knowing if it was going to start or not. And when it did, it was like, yeah, let's go. Yep, yep, <laughs> I'm kind of the same way. She usually starts, uh, but, you know, it's, it's a carburetor uh, engine, so pop the clutch, run, push it, pop the clutch, go, go, usually. Cool. So, yeah. Very cool. I don't think there's anything I don't like other than... Probably the displacement. I mean, it's a small bike it's supposed to be, but yeah. yeah. But they're, they're fun. Yep, yep. All right, cool, Marco. Thanks for taking the time, introducing the bike. You bet. Real nice to, meet, to meet you. you. about an hour to get home and uh, it's already dark out and I don't want to run into any critters so I will see you later thanks for joining me on this epic adventure <laughs> hope you liked it it was really fun meeting all the, the new people here and I'll see you next time later yeah.